Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be a skincare routine video and I am really excited to film this video because I have actually filmed this before last weekend and it was completely out of focus and literally annoyed me so much so if I'm not in focus right now I will smash my face in. But I've got a bunch of products here that I'm going to be talking about that I use on my skin. I actually have quite a weird skincare routine which I'm going to talk about more towards the end of the video um, but I'm going to show you me putting these on as well in cutaway clips that kind of thing um, not all of them because I don't want to put like a million face masks on you know what I mean in one go but some of the products I'm going to show you in cutaway clips but yes this is my skincare routine just to kind of start off the video I thought I would just talk about my skin type very briefly I have oily skin my skin is pretty oily um, it gets very oily throughout the day so I try not to use too many kind of oil based products in the morning um, even though I kind of do my skin is oily but I never ever think that you know you should strip your face back from putting oils on it because if you take oils away from your skin then actually it produces more oil to counteract that so actually putting oils on your skin really helps it to like stop making too many oils do you know what I mean uh, but yes my skin's oily I quite like the fact it's oily because it means that my skin doesn't get dry it um I don't know it's almost like an extra moisturizer in a way effectively you could put it that way uh, but yeah so that's my skin type and this is what I use for it I'm gonna start off with my morning skincare routine so in the morning I only use one product and this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and this is basically just a balm consistency cleanser and I actually don't use very much of this I just pop it onto kind of here 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 and here um, on my chin just gently just a tiny little bit and then rub it in this is just to kind of almost moisturize my skin I do like to leave it on for about a minute just to kind of soak in and when I wash it off with either a hot cloth or with just normal water it makes my skin feel so so soft I think when you put makeup on you want to put makeup onto a base that is really soft really quite I don't know glides so the, my makeup just glides on when I've used this and I know I have oily skin and this probably isn't the best necessarily for oily skin but I like to embrace my oily skin and I actually like having oily skin I'd rather have oily skin over dry skin any day so I I don't know I quite like the oils it just kind of makes everything go on a little bit better and yeah so I do like this product and it was in my January favourites if you watch that. If not, go and check it out. So that's literally it for the morning. Now for night time. Um, I have a full face of makeup on when it gets to the evening most of the time unless I rub it off. And this little guy here is literally an absolute godsend. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Gel Wash. And this removes your makeup whilst also cleansing. It's like a gel consistency. It's like the Garnier Micellar Water mixed with a normal cleansing gel wash it's just perfect when I got this I was so impressed in fact I was shocked at how good this product was and I'm just so happy literally this is probably the only product I could say that I would 100% or I am definitely going to be rebuying because I like to try different skincare products so I don't tend to go for the same ones but this is literally amazing and I can't see anything being any better than this it just gets my makeup off so 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 well um it does actually get in my eyes quite a lot and blinds me for a few seconds but it's okay and it is safe for your eyes don't so don't worry so because there is still a few kind of little traces of makeup on my face after using that i then like to go in with a toner this is the nivea refreshing toner for normal and combination skin just picked up any cheap toner i use it with cotton pads to just kind of wipe across all over my face to get rid of any excess makeup and I also kind of rub it underneath my eyes to get rid of excess mascara anything like that that's run down because my mascara does tend to kind of need quite a lot to get rid of it um so I'll just use that kind of under my eyes to get rid of that and it works really really well can't really say much more about that than you know it's just a cheap one so it's not going to do miracles okay then I go in with the ordinary <coughs> sorry then I go in with the ordinary alpha lipoic acid and this is 5%. When I first got this, I was like, okay, because it said on it 
um a concentrated serum to brighten and target signs of age and i thought oh god that means it's going to be like an anti-aging product that i don't really need actually i think that this is such a good staple to have in your skincare routine i think acids in general have really become quite popular in people's skincare routines because they've realized that actually acids do so much i don't know i don't know the chemistry behind it i probably should because i do chemistry but or and biology but i don't um but this just makes my skin it feels like an oil going on it does sting a little bit it yeah it does sting a bit so i think if you have sensitive skin you will hate this so you know don't get this if you have sensitive skin um but it makes my skin feel very soft as soon as i put it on and quite hydrated and nourished by the time it gets to the morning my skin feels very very plump and just so ready for makeup and that's what i love about this i never expected it to work that well and also I've been using this for a few months now or maybe even four months now and my skin has been the best it's ever been in terms of clearness. Over these past few days it has been quite bad over these current past few days um, because I've been eating poo, not literally, don't worry. Um, yes, I've been having some pizzas and stuff like that so it's been a little bit, you know, temperamental but overall it's pretty, pretty good. And I put it down to this little guy. It's a game changer. So I would recommend getting it. And it's literally £5 from The Ordinary. Okay, then I go in with my Nivea Daily Essentials Moisturiser. You've got to have a moisturiser in your skincare routine to just keep your skin plumped, moisturised, hydrated and just not going dry. Ready for when you're older. You don't want those wrinkles. This is just a basic moisturiser. Nothing special, but this is the one that I use. And then I will, as a final step... I will go in with some Vaseline. This is the um, Rosy Lips one and it's like a pinky colour. So yeah, I've had this for ages. It's probably getting a little bit unhygienic, but I do keep it quite clean. Like I do wash my hands before I use it and after. So I do keep it very clean. Um, but yeah, I've had this for a while. It does last a long time, um, but I use it on my lips. My lips never, ever, ever get dry. I don't know why they just don't. Maybe it's my oily skin or maybe it's because I use this every single night, but they never get dry. Um, and I like to look after them. I think it's just pure luck that they don't get dry, but we'll see. Or just jeans in general. Okay, so that's kind of my staple skincare routine. Those are like all the products that I sometimes use in one night. I would say I use all of those products three nights a week, all of them together. Um, I will explain kind of more what I do because I don't always use all of those. Um, uh, but I'm now going to talk about the products that I use once a week, um, like scrubs face masks that kind of thing and first of all this facial scrub here is the um zoella body polished snow polished exfoliant this is meant for your body but i use it on my face um it's very very gentle so you would actually think that it would be more harsh um because it's meant for the body but actually it's super super gentle and i rub it into my face it's not the best i do have to say it isn't actually the best exfoliant i've tried um but you rub it into your skin and then it actually soaks into your skin which i find very weird um the little shelly bits aren't shell obviously because they kind of dissolve into nothing and i think that that's not like the best thing ever that's not like my favorite thing um but i use it and it's okay it does the job but it's not the best i've used and i use a scrub once a week on my skin to get rid of dead skin dead skin cells that kind of thing because it's just important to get rid of that layer um then once a week i will go in with a face mask um i only use one but i've got three that i kind of um differentiate between um this one here is from i got it from tesco but it says a quick fix facial and this is the anti-blemish mud mask for oily and spot prone skin oily skin perfect this is for me um spot prone skin i suppose i used to have acne so i suppose my skin is spot prone in a way um but yeah i use this it's just a plain simple mud mask it's lasted me ages i love it um these are only three pounds and literally they last you so 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 long and it's amazing so yeah this is a good one and then i also have another one in the same range this is what my friend steph got me i would say well over a year ago and this is the quick fix vitamin c miracle mask an overnight glow boost and i will actually sometimes use this um like i might use 
this mask one day and then this mask another day of the week because it's just one of those masks that you actually put on um, before you go to sleep and then you leave it overnight and wash it off in the morning. It doesn't feel like anything's on your skin necessarily. It smells really nice and it just almost feels like an extra moisturiser and yeah, it's really, really nice. And then finally, this um, face mask here is one from The Ordinary. My auntie Jen actually gave this to me because she'd got kind of, I don't know, quite low in it and she just gave it to me to try out. Um, and this is kind of what I alternate between using. I did actually originally thought it was a peeling solution, a peeling mask because it said this, AHA plus BHA peeling solution. So I thought it was a peel off mask, but it's not. I don't really care if it is or not. Um, you just put it on your skin and then you wash it off and beautiful skin. Um, the ordinary skincare products are very, very good and they're very reasonably priced. So that is all of the kind of skincare products that I have in my collection and kind of what I use. Now I'm gonna talk about like what I do every day because I don't actually usually use these skincare products every day. So the kind of core amount that I use, like I showed you the toner, moisturizer, facial wash, um, acid, I will use all of those products collectively about three times a week. Three other nights of the week, so the another three nights of the week, I will just literally slap on one of those products. So one night I might just put on this face mask, another night I might just whack on this oil on its own, nothing else. I always do though use this facial wash though, so discounting this little guy. Um, or I might just pop on some lip balm or you know just that kind of thing like I don't always put all of them on because I feel like you don't need to always have all these products on and sometimes you know I just sit there and I always have a sense of something I always feel like I know what my skin wants so I might think oh tonight I'm just feeling moisturizer or tonight my skin is just feeling a bit of that acid so that's what I'll go for um, but the other night of the week which is my lazy night which just always happens once a week I'm just lazy one of the nights of the week and I can't be bothered to do anything. So I just get myself a plain simple wet wipe. These are ones, I don't know actually where, oh these are from Wilco and they're actually really, really good. Oh my battery's low, I need to hurry up. They're actually really, really good. I just remove my makeup with them and it just gets absolutely everything off. So yeah, very happy with those. So that is my skincare routine. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.